Leading the way, solving problems, getting results, holding the powerful accountable. KNBC 9 investigates. Americans create nearly 300 million tons of trash every day. About half goes straight to the landfill. But our region's two biggest landfills are projected to close in the next two decades. When that happens, where will our trash go? That is part of our newest KNBC 9 Chronicle, Dirty Kansas City. Nobody's saying don't build a landfill. But what we're saying is not right here. Thompson has led the fight against the South Kansas City landfill. I built this home in 1994. Rick Myers has too, saying the proposed site is too close. Why here is my question. It's just a shame that uh, their uh, livelihoods are being threatened. Raymore Mayor Chris Turnbow is also fighting against building a landfill close to his city. Leaders in Lee Summit, Peculiar, Pleasant Hill, Lake Winnebago, Belton, and Grandview have all come out against it too, along with several area counties, Missouri U.S. representatives, and local school districts. It would be different if the landfill existed and someone came in to purchase a property around a landfill, but this is, this is totally different. People have invested their life savings. After Missouri lawmakers failed to pass a bill that would have stopped the landfill for good, the community is regrouping. We can't be putting a landfill across the street from an elementary school. Sarah Thompson and her neighbors are now pitching in any extra savings to fund a political action committee. They're planning a stronger fight in Jefferson City. Is this site a better solution than the South Kansas City landfill site? Well, we feel like it is. But enter another developer who wants his landfill to serve as a potential solution for Kansas City an hour and a half away. Our highway is littered with trash from one side to the other. What if the people there don't want it either? We're the same type of people here that they are. This is in our backyard. If no one wants trash in their backyard, where should it go? Watch Chronicle Dirty Kansas City Wednesday at 7 on KMBC 9.